Sherelle asked this question about um, how can we tell if a good is a substitute or a complement based on if you're given a, a demand equation. They do describe it a little bit. They give you the definitions of substitutes and complements on page 40. So a substitute, two goods are substitutes if when the price of one product goes up, then people will demand more of the substitute. So I always use some food of some source, so you can kind of tell the things I, I prefer in life. Um, but so if the price of Coke goes up, then we would assume that people are going to demand less Coke and they're going to switch to um, consuming the substitute instead. So if the price of Coke goes up, then we would expect the quantity demanded of Pepsi to go up too. Um, so that's just, again, just kind of an understanding of it. And so if I flip over to page 42, the table at 2.1 at the top of that page, it probably looks really messy, but I can kind of look in there for where it talks about um, there's a direct relationship for substitute goods. Two products have a direct relationship or two things have a direct relationship if they move in the same direction at the same time. That's the relationship we describe between the price of Coke going up and the quantity demanded of Pepsi going up. So they both move in the same direction. So that's that, that middle column of that table. Then over on the right side of that table, the sign of the slope parameter it might not make much sense now, um, but it's saying that that coefficient D should be positive. Um, anytime there's a direct relationship between two variables, two things, then I would ex the coefficient in that particular equation is going to be positive. Page 78, there's question two, technical problem number two on page 78. There's this general demand equation, and it doesn't tell you what type of product it is, but you can see at the end of that equation, there's this plus 30 PR, and they're using that PR to be the price of a related good. So even if I don't know anything about what this product is, is it Coke, is it Pepsi, is it something else, I can see that, well, the coefficient there, the, the number that's in front of the PR variable is plus 30. So if I just plug in random numbers there, if I have a, a particular price for the price of the related good, then that's going to cause the quantity demanded of the other good to increase by 30 units. When PR rises, then the quantity demanded is also going to rise, increase by this multiple of 30. So flipping, yeah, flipping back to page 42, that coefficient or the number that's in front of the PR variable is plus 30, and it's positive. I mean, it's got the plus in front of the 30, so it's a positive coefficient. Again, meaning that when PR increases, then the quantity demanded of the, the other good is going to increase by this multiple of 30. So they're, they're both moving in the same direction. PR and quantity demanded are moving in the same direction, um, which again indicates that these are substitute goods. So again, there's lots of ways you can tell whether two goods are substitutes or not. You know, you can just think about it if you have your Coke and Pepsi and think about how people would behave. And if you, all you have to go on is an equation and that technical problem number two, again, it doesn't even tell you what kind of product it is. It just says, here's a general demand function for some type of product. I don't know what the type of product is that I'm thinking about the demand of it. And I don't know what the related good is either. I just know that the coefficient in front of the PR variable is positive, which tells me that when the price of that related good goes up, the demand for the other product is going to increase also. So again, that's, that follows the same that sort of story between the Coke and Pepsi, which tell me that these two goods are um, substitutes for each other. So if it's a positive coefficient in front, then you know it has to be, those have to be substitutes. If there's a negative coefficient in front, it's uh, complementary. So hopefully I don't have to go through and explain that again.